My name is Andy uh, Ochumba. I'm an agric businessman and uh, also a vegetable uh, farmer. Now, recently, I've taken huge interest in uh, bitter leaf. Why? Because of the medicinal, newly discovered medicinal value and health benefit. I'm in the eastern part of Nigeria called Anambra and in Oruku precisely. Now, here in Oruku, we've actually taken, um, uh, it has actually gotten our attention um, to focus and major on bitter leaf farming. We are known for bitter leaf farming. This is the biggest bitter leaf farm in Nigeria. You know why? Because of uh, the time, the best farm practices we've actually put into it. Now, what is bitter leaf? Bitter leaf is also known as uh, Venonia amagladina. It's a shrub crop and uh, it grows in the western part of Africa. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Now, recent research has it that uh, it has so many health benefits. It's anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, you know, it handles prostate cancer issue, breast cancer, and so many health challenges. And apart from that, it has so many phytonutrients and phytochemicals like flavonoids, tannins, tepanins, and all that. Then I often said that bitter leaf also has huge amount of antioxidants and also helps to manage hormonal imbalances in the body. And if you know hormonal imbalance, this is a major cause of infertility in women, so it balances the system. Now, I've said this, I mentioned antioxidants recently. Now, antioxidants simply means that uh, it actually helps fight free radicals in our body. Now, one of the major causes of 21st century health issues like kidney problem, cancer, and all that is as a result of uh, oxidation stress. Now, what is oxidation stress? Oxygen as an atom likes breaking down. When it breaks down, it creates electrons. Now, some of these electrons like pairing with each other. So in the process of some free electrons, called free radicals, in the process of looking for other molecule or atoms to pair with, they damage cells, they damage DNA, and they damage other organs of our body. And, all that. and that's what free radical does to our system. So normally, we are supposed to take enough, get enough antioxidants from our food, really. And Bitter leaf has high amount of antioxidant that helps us, helps the body fight against all these challenges. So quickly, what we have here is uh, we do one of the best farm practices here and we've got customers in Europe, Asia, who actually imports this, buys this from us, dries it, uh, turn it into powder form and encapsulate it. Some even use it uh, in powder form for weight loss tea, health tea, hypertension tea and all that, you know. And you see, uh, talking about Nigeria, talking about uh, we recovering economically, thanks to the free trade, uh, African free trade uh, zone um, we just signed into, meaning that we can have our product in any part of Africa. That's a very good development. Thank God for government policy for that. It simply means that for budding entrepreneur, you can... So uh, it can be used for uh, production of green tea, which help with health management, weight management and other health uh, benefits. So for budding entrepreneur, you can take advantage of the free trade uh, continental uh, zone, meaning that you can have your product in any part of Africa with this dry grind product from bag it in tea format. And we have our product and that will actually get us uh, foreign uh, income. So quickly, like I said, what we do here is um, organic farming. We've got our dripping um, irrigation system and uh, you can see our workers here working. So what they're actually doing now is harvesting. Uh, we have an order. Now this order uh, is leaving the shores of this country. Now this used to be our major delicacy. We use it for cooking soup. But I discovered recently that uh, most time, because of the bitterness in it, we normally wash the medicinal benefits, you know, away. We squeeze it and remove the bitterness and just eat the vegetable. Now that is just sharp, and that's why we're not getting much health benefit from it. You know, so but today uh, it can be used for different medicinal. Uh, property or agents in drug because of the phytochemical and the bioavailability of the nutrients in it. So you can see them harvesting it and uh, normally this is how we sell them. It's a big farm. This is just uh, one of the farm phase. We have other uh, area, you know. So uh, this way. So as you can see, this is how we tie them in bundles. This is how we tie them in bundles. So this is actually a bundle. You understand? So you can call the number below to find out how much uh, we sell per bundles and all that. Okay. Someone is just bringing in a bundle now. You can see him bringing in a bundle. So the moment they get enough to be a bundle, they bring it down here. Now a bundle is about 1.5 kg. 
So when you put this on the scale, it's about 1.5 kg. So you can see the ones that are already harvested here. So hello, so these are after uh, packaging it in bundles, I've invested them. So we arrange it uh, here. Then for me, our vehicle comes and uh, and takes it out, you know. So already, we've already been booked for 3,000 pieces. And uh, we are trying to arrange that. And we have different customers from time to time from Europe. They have Nigerian agents. Some even come themselves. Like we'll be expecting some European um, visitors in a month time. So I've invested a bundle like this is weighed about 1.5 kg. So what they do, some of them uh, require we wash it for them and then some dry, which is another service. Some take it off themselves to actually wash and uh, dry, capsulate and use it for whatever they want to uh, use it for. So quickly, uh, the last section is I'll be taking you to uh, the uh, fertilizer application. We use organic fertilizer, poultry waste for enriching the vegetable itself and it makes it more nutritious and uh, health um, uh, vibrant okay yeah so like uh we use organic uh, fertilizer here there's no chemical no pesticide and no insecticide why because of the health implication and we are very conscious of that so like you can see this is poultry waste and uh, that's what we are applying here to get the best um, out of the farm you know this poultry waste. that's why you can see the farm is very green and very uh, fresh you know, so that is him uh, applying um, the poultry waste um, on the farm. It enriches the soil, retains the soil fatty, and uh, microorganisms that actually helps um, with the growth. You know. So it's 100% organic from farm to harvesting, and we make sure we practice best farm practices. We are very careful. Uh, we don't allow people here anyhow. We've got our securities and um, the farm is in a very reserved uh, area. They are very reserved area. If you are coming in here, there must be a business. Either you are doing business with us or you are actually uh, coming to work. So having said this, um, what I want to say is this. Uh, in any form, grab your bitter leaf, a little to eat in yes. terms of capsule. So there's no Okay, okay. Oh, signing out here. Uh, so, like I said, you've seen the farm. I've shared a little health benefit of uh, uh, beta leaf and what is being um, used. I've also talked about the Free African Trade uh, Continental Agreement that was newly signed by the government. Amazing policy. All we need to do now is look inward. What can we convert to finished product? Ethiopia has co um, coffee. You know, now our beta leaf. <laughs> Uh, science is telling us today it has so many health benefits and all that, you know. And um, locally, it's our major delicacy. We use it for cooking soup as vegetable. So no matter the amount of bitter leaf you need, we can supply you. We've got clients from different parts of the world um, who come buy it in bundle, dry it up, use it for tea, and some even capsulate it and use it for um, supplement. So this is a best supplement. Like, um, I don't want to call the name of a particular brand, but like your green teas, when you look at the pack very well, you will never see the uh, what's it called now the ingredient or what leaf was used. But if you are taking, if this is made into green tea, you know that you are getting bitter leaf, Venonia. You know you are getting bitter leaf, and this is Venonia amagladina, and it's natural. It's uh, it, it's natural. It's something because of the best farm practice we are, we practice here. We wear this every morning. It's already been well. I can even eat it hmm? without um, being afraid of anything. You understand? You know. So to place your order, uh, my number is zero eight zero twenty thirty nine four eight eight eight. You can see the number rolling under zero eight zero twenty thirty nine four eight eight eight. So call these numbers, we can get you any quantity you need, um, that's bitter leaf. We can also add value to it by helping you to process, dry it, then you can take it off from there. You know, so this is Anna, this is Oruku, the land of the great. Uh, this is Oruku in Anambra and um, it's our major occupation. This is what we do and we proud ourselves in this. Thank you very much. Okay, um, this is another aspect of uh, the bitter leaf processing. Uh, we've been to the farm, we've been to different farms, and uh, at this stage, we have some clients, especially clients from 
Europe, US, and Asia, and other neighboring African countries that normally prefer the bitter leaf in dried form. You know, so as you can see, for any